Chapter 8, William. All grew nine kept on staring and staring at the boy. Look at his little arms, whispered that Grace. What are his little muscles? Where are his little muscles, do you think? William doesn't have any little muscles, said Polly Allen Puffer. I've seen the wind blow him down on the playground. Yeah, said Roger. William doesn't even know what a pull-up is, I bet. Our team is going to look worse than ever. This has snapped her angry fingers at us. That woman has ears like a hawk. Strong Frankie went first. The roommate teacher lifted him up to the high bar. Then quick as a wink, he did a loud grunt, and he pulled his chin right up to the bar. One, shout hollered roommate. Strong Frankie did another grunt, and he pulled himself up again. Two, shouted roommate. After that, he just kept on, kept right on going. Strong Frankie kept grunting and pulling, and roommate kept on counting. Three, four, five, six, seven. Finally, Strong Frankie dropped down to the ground. Seven, seven, Strong Frankie did seven, shouted new Thelma. Room nine sat down on the grass real gloomy, because William was next, that's why. We covered our eyes and peeked through our fingers. Mrs. lifted him, him up to the pole bar. It was not fun to watch, because William kept on dangling and dangling up there. And he didn't even move a muscle. Pretty soon, roommate started to laugh. It was loudish and meanish. Made a fist at those people. Hey, do you want a piece of this? I shouted real mad. Mrs. snapped her fingers at me again. Then all of a sudden, William kicked his legs a little bit. And he kicked them again. And wowie, wow, wow! His chin went right up to the bar. And that is not even the best part. Because as soon as he came down, he went right back up again. I springed up from the grass. Two, William, you did two pull-ups, and you didn't even grunt. I hollered, really thrilled. William went up again. My mouth fell all the way open. Three, William, you did three. After that, all of room nine springed up from the grass, too. Four, William, four, we shouted. Five, William, we shouted. Six, we shouted. Seven, eight, nine, ten. William dangled for a little while longer, then he kicked his legs one more time. And what do you know? Eleven! It was the happiest day of our whole entire kindergarten. When William dropped down, all of room nine piled on top of him. William, you did it! You did it! We hollered real joyful. Pretty soon we heard a muffly voice. It was, get off me, I think. Then all of us got up and we stood William on his feet. Room and I danced all around that guy. Also, we tried to lift him on our shoulders, because he was our superhero, that's why. Only our shoulders kept on collapsing, plus William Toast kicked us in the face. Then all of a sudden, a bright idea popped into my head. People, wait up, got it, I got it. I know how to show William he is our hero, I said. After that, I whispered my idea to Mrs. And guess what? She took the right cape right off my shoulder, and she pinned it onto William's shoulders instead, just like I told her. William, save the day, I said. William's our superhero. He, he should be, his name should be Super William, I think. Huh, <laughs> call back to Big Fat Mouth. William smiled real big. And he zoomed around the playground and the cape flied behind him. This is smiled. See, boys and girls, see what you can happen if you don't give up on yourselves? Just then, William zoomed back to where we were. But I still don't get it, William, I said. How do you even do that? How did you even do push-ups? Because those things are very hard. William's all kind of shy. I practiced, that's how, he said. I got a pull-up bar for Christmas and practiced every day. Just then, William's daddy came hurrying over and put Super William on his shoulders. Then all of us marched to room nine like a happy parade. And there's another happy thing. Our families came and ate cookies with us. And they were proud of how we did. My family hugged me very much. Then my grandma Miller hugged Super William too. And Grandpa Miller flew him all around the air. Because William loved that cape, I tell you. And so guess what else? I didn't even ask for it back. Not for the whole rest of the day. This is being nice of me, I said just to myself. I'm being a good team captain. After that, I laughed right out loud, because what do you know? I was tooting my own horn. And that's the end of Junie B. Jones' is Captain Field Day.